Hi everyone, welcome back to our series on mastering Notion. In the last video, we walked you through setting up your first Notion workspace. Today, we'll dive into creating, customizing, and organizing pages in Notion. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create and manage your pages and have a better understanding of basic navigation. Okay, so everything in Notion starts with a page. Pages are the foundation of Notion where you can create, store, and organize information. Uh, let's start by creating a new page. There's actually a few ways that we can do this. We can come over here and we can see that we have a workspace here called private, and we can click on add page here, and this will just add a single page. So let's just call this page one. You can see now that our home page and page one are actually separate. But what we can do with pages is create a page inside of a page, almost as like a, a folder. So we can do this in a variety of ways. We could go over to our page here and click on add a page inside by clicking the plus button. And we could maybe just call this page two, and then we can close this out. And now we can see that our page two has appeared here. If you see on the sidebar, we can see that uh, page one now contains page two. So page two is inside uh, page one. And in a way, you can create a kind of a tiered level system or some kind of folder system of pages. Now, there's another way that we can create pages. Uh, we can also click anywhere on our workspace and we can type in a uh, slash. Slash is uh, basically how we can create any kind of basic block. And so a page is also a block. So let's type in page and we can click on page here. And now we can create a new page. Let's call this page three. Now to go back to page one, we can go over to the breadcrumb trail here, or we can just click on page one on the side here. Let's click on page one. So now we can see page two and page three here. Now, if we really wanted, we could put page three inside page two and just by dragging it in there. And now if we see on the sidebar, we have page one, then page two, then page three, and then we can collapse these as well. If we go over to page two on our workspace, we can click this here and we now see page three here. Now, being able to put pages inside of pages inside of pages may seem a little useless uh, right now, uh, but you'll see later on in this series when we start creating more complex workspaces that uh, being able to store pages like this uh, can be a really efficient way of managing uh, information. So let's go ahead and delete these pages for now. And we're going to come over to our homepage and we're going to create a page inside here. Now, another way that we can create pages uh, is a nice little trick where we can uh, create a bullet point list of all the pages we want and then turn them into pages using uh, a function of Notion. So let's create a list of pages that we would like. So maybe for our home page, we'll have it be a little more personal so we could have maybe a to-do list. Maybe we could have a recipe recipe ideas, maybe something like travel plans, and then, I don't know, a personal, personal calendar. So what we can do is then highlight all of these and click on the six dots here. We'll then click turn into, and then we can select page. And so this will turn all of these into pages, which is a really fast way of creating pages. Let's click into one of them here. Let's customize one of these pages. So a to-do list, we can add in an icon. So let's maybe give it a pin. We can also add a cover. I don't know. Let's go to-do. Okay, there we go. And a little bit more customization we can do is coming over to the three dots here. And this is where we can change the style of the whole page. And so what we can do is change it to full width if we like. We can also make the text a little bit smaller. We can also change the font of the page. And so we can change it to a serif font, mono font, or a default font. We can also go a step further by clicking on customize page and then change uh, some of the uh, more detailed sections here. So we could click on top level page discussion. All this is is allows for the ability to make comments. Hello, this is my to-do list. There we go. And you can see that our comment uh, appears here. 
Uh, this can be really useful if you have multiple people in your workspace uh, and you can leave comments to each other here. If we would like, we can also view the analytics of this page. So if we share this page uh, with others, uh, we can see who's who's looking at the page uh, through analytics, and we can also see the updates. So we can see here our comment has appeared here. So we can click on our comment, and once we see it, we can click resolve. Now, this is just for shared workspaces using comments. Personally, I like turning off the top level page discussions as it kind of just makes it a little bit cleaner. Okay, and now to go back to our homepage, we can click on the breadcrumb trail here. Let's go and quickly add some custom icons to our uh, other pages as well. Okay, there we go. And now if we take a look at the sidebar again, we can see our homepage shows up here. And if we click the arrow toggle, we can see all of our nested pages will also show up here. And so this can make navigation really handy. Great, and that's really how we create pages in Notion. Again, pages are kind of the foundation of Notion in how we store and manage and organize information. Uh, so properly understanding how pages work is crucial for understanding Notion. In the next video, we'll explore more advanced navigation techniques within Notion to help you manage your pages, your workspace uh, in a more efficient way. So if you're interested in that, go and check out the next video.